since the dawn of man. It has been the innate desire and responsibility to pass evolved knowledge from one generation to the next. And now, now they wish to share their strategies with you so that you too can learn it, live it, and pass it on. I believe in the law of attraction. What you throw out comes back. But the law of attraction doesn't work unless you take action every day. If you want something, you want to be a success, you got to be willing to pay the price. Pay the price of discipline or pay the price of regret. You already know everything you need to know to be successful. You just got to put the remote control down, scoot the bag of chips away, get off the couch and do something. Welcome. This is where your journey begins. And where are we? Well, we're at a bank. But we're at a bank like no other. Let me explain. While it has vaults, they're, they're not filled with diamonds and platinum and gold. Now, these vaults contain items much more valuable. Ideas are going to spring forth like you're drinking from a fire hose. It's going to come fast and furious, and that's what you want. These vaults that you're going to see here are categorized into four areas. Wealth, inspiration, success, and happiness. One of the most important ingredients in success is mentoring. If you want something in life, then align with someone who's getting the results that you want. Deciding what it is with absolute clarity. And to make this system have integrity, you gotta be a mentee to a mentor, and then you gotta go on and mentor someone else. That's how easy it is. Let's enter the first vault, wealth. It's been said you could ask a thousand leaders how they became successful, how they became wealthy, and chances are you'll get a thousand variations of how they did it. On the same note, ask these same leaders, what actual steps did you follow to get there? And you will find common denominators that each of them followed to go from where they were to where they are now. One of the keys to success is clarity because you can't hit a target that you can't see. But if you can see the target and you keep shooting at it, eventually you do hit it. You know, everyone has goals, but they spend more time planning a party than they do their life. Visualization was a key strategy that had been given to me, and I finally decided to do exactly what they said. Then you need to have a strategy. For me, I wrote myself a million dollar check because I wanted to be a millionaire. Then I went and I blew it up and I placed it everywhere where I had to keep seeing it so I could keep visualizing it so it became real. And then each day, wake up with specific things you're gonna to do today to accomplish a small part of a big goal. You'd be surprised how one small action done consistently has a way of expanding on its own. Is it's the people who take consistent action towards their goal that achieve the most success. Get ready, here comes the vault of inspiration. First step in the sequence is catalyst. It's that aha moment. We all have them. The point is recognizing it. It's a step of recognition. The law of attraction is, is a great law. And yes, by being in the right vibration and by using your mind properly, uh, you can attract a lot of things. However, there's some corollary laws that you have to understand. Every word we speak is powerfully charged with positive or negative energy. No neutral ground, positive or negative. Speak that thought. Positive words become positive things. There were points in my career where I was saying to myself, just give it one more week, just one more week. You might even be in a place where you're saying, just one more day, make one more sales call. If you're 99% committed, it's just a matter of time before you fail. People who learn how to cooperate are willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. Commitment and success. And it takes us right where we want to be, the vault of success. Inside is a code. Just may change your life. And success defined by us and all the other great leaders is simple. It's living your life in pursuit of 
of what that mission is. Take your attention. You are so powerful and direct your attention onto that thing that you are so passionate about. Passion is the difference between being in something and that something being in you. The most important thing you can ever do is be like a scientist. They don't work a day. They go to play, to experiment, to understand, to learn. Every one of us is gifted with things that we love to do, and we find other things really difficult, but other people may find those things easy. So again, hire people who play at things you have to work at, and you will achieve magical success in your business and your life. Just why do people strive for these areas? Well, it always seems to come down to one thing. Happiness. Think of it. When do you most want to give things to others? When you're happy. The enlightened give thanks for what most people take for granted. Love serving others is the mark of a truly successful person. When somebody does something for you, when somebody gives benefit into your life, go to them and tell them how grateful you are for them. The last step in the last vault is simple and easy. Smile. One of the most simple gifts I can give that gives me great pleasure in giving, and I know people enjoy receiving, is a smile. So important to smile in order for you to be able to feel positive, happy emotions. Even if you're not feeling them in the moment. It may seem a little cheesy or inauthentic, but it's not. Because when you smile, it'll shift your body language and it'll start making you feel a lot better. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. <laughs> your smile is your most effective method of communication. It transcends all language barriers. A smile is the key to open the door you thought you could never get through. One of the greatest techniques I learned on the road to success is smile talk. I learned that it was a way for me to manage my environment and manage my attitude. The smile is the secret weapon of success. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. Yeah, I like to smile, but it isn't quite that easy at my age anymore. Things aren't going right, and they're not going the way you want to. Just smile. Let's get everybody to smile everywhere, always. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. A smile is what creates atmosphere. Atmosphere does not come out of thin air. Somebody has to create atmosphere. And tell me a quicker, easier way to create some atmosphere than a big smile. Let me cut to the chase because this isn't the end of the journey, not by a long shot. This is where it truly begins. First, Take a good, solid, realistic look at where you're at today. Look in the areas of wealth, inspiration, success, and happiness. And get real honest with yourself. How do you do that? By applying these mentors' ideas. We challenge you to learn it, live it, and pass it on. So much of joy coursing through the universe right now that when you really let it happen with that happiness, that joy, that wealth, that absolute success and inspiration, you will click your heels, you'll just move around and dance in such a way that your whole life will be a dance. You'll be dancing for God, you'll be dancing for wealth, dancing for prosperity. As a matter of fact, the whole universe what you will dance want, to you. Not asking much, all oh, that's good and good and such.
funny you want to make some money. What do you want to do is get rich doing good, making people healthy doing things they should. Don't deny the good life's what you want to support. It's not about the money, but I'm tired of being poor. If I live to be a hundred, just like Bob Hope, I want to be rich. I ain't no dope. So get back to the store and stock up on the tools so you can tell the story not look like a fool. Remember what I told you and put it in your pitch. The stuff will make you healthy, but you'll also get rich. Yeah. <laughs>